What's up Titans, it's Curtis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your Amazon Merch uh, publish settings within Merch Titans Automation so that you can upload your designs um, to Merch by Amazon. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. I have the Merch Titans Automation app opened up as you can see here. The first thing I'm going to do is toggle off these other platforms. We're only going to focus on Merch by Amazon in this one. And I have a spreadsheet already set up, so I'm going to go select that, go to Upload and then upload XLSX, and then select your spreadsheet. Now, if you didn't set up a spreadsheet, I do suggest you go back and watch the Getting Started video to learn how to do that. It's quite easy. Or if you're using the My Designs integration, watch the My Designs video, because that's even better. But in this case, we're gonna use a spreadsheet. So I got my spreadsheet selected. You can preview the data real quick if you like. You got your image path, title, description, tags, primary tag for TeePublic, and then, of course, Merch by Amazon Brand, Bullet 1 and Bullet 2. And the reason I have this data here is because it's for the other platforms that we're going to demonstrate in another video. But I'm going to go back now that I have that selected. And again, I toggled all these platforms off. So let's just go click Merch by Amazon in the left menu to open up the settings. And as I said at the first of this video, this, uh, this training is only going to be on the published settings because in my opinion, it's the best way to upload to Merch by Amazon. It's faster, it's more stable, and you'll get a lot more done with way less time involved. So let's focus on that. Uh, but real quickly, I'll go over the top of these settings. So auto login when logged out, uh, that's set to no now. But if you enable that, basically you can put in your Amazon Merch email and password. So if you're doing batches of 300, 400, 500 designs, there's a chance that you're going to get logged out during that process because it could take an hour or two. Um, and if it does, then this will just automatically log you back in. So to keep that in mind. So I'm not going to enable that now, but that's what you would input if you want to have that automatically log you back in. Now, save login. I do suggest you check this. It'll basically cache your login information in the browser we use so that you don't have to keep putting that login information every time you start Merch Titans Automation. Now, reset login will just reset, basically clear that cached information so that you can log into either another account or get multiple instances going at a time with two different accounts. So that's one, one way to use that. Now, use publish settings templates. So this is what I do recommend you use. Um... It's already unchecked, so let's just go to yes, because that's going to be the focus of this. So we'll, we'll toggle that on, yes, and then save or submit. You can basically have it save it as a published listing on Amazon Merch or save it as a draft. We're going to go publish. And then auto-translate, you can say yes or no. That's if you're doing marketplaces like DE, France, Italy, etc., um, and Spain, Japan, etc. You can just enable that so Amazon will automatically translate your data to, for those marketplaces. Now, with that being said, that covers the top settings here. We're not going to go over all these other settings right now because they're not necessarily needed with published settings. Um, but I do want to cover the advanced settings. So when you set up a spreadsheet, if you click here, you're able to map the columns from your spreadsheet to the fields within Amazon Merch through Merch Titans Automation. So the title column, you can see we already have title selected. We got description selected, uh, the brand column selected, bullet one and bullet two. Everything looks good here. But if you want to custom layout in your spreadsheet and you want to do that however you see fit, you can do that. But you, then you can just map those columns here to make sure that everything's pointing to the right direction. But with that being said, we're basically we're ready to go. So I have all my settings in place. We got published settings on. But first, I need to go over to Amazon Merch and make sure we set up publish settings. So I'm going to show you how that works. It's really simple. So I'm going to open that up. So I'm over here on the Create page of Amazon Merch. And basically here, you could select the products and marketplaces. So to keep this simple, we're going to go just standard t-shirt. We'll go with the, let's go three different marketplaces here. And we'll go with the tank top, long sleeve shirt, sweatshirt, pullover hoodie, zip hoodie. Um, and we will put those on to these marketplaces as well. We'll leave the rest of this blank. But again, when you set up published settings, you got to think about the designs you're going to upload. If you're doing a batch for mostly clothing, you can do that. Or if it's a batch for every product, you can do that too. But you just got to keep that in mind. So every time before you start an instance on Amazon or use a Merch Titans auto automation for Amazon Merch, you want to come into here and set up these published settings. And it really takes a couple minutes max to basically where you can go and enable, you know, hundreds of uploads to be automated. But I'm going to go with these particular products and marketplaces. So click continue. Now the next step, I got to edit details. So instead of doing this through the app and having Merch Titans automation do it every single upload, which takes a lot of time. You can just create these settings in Amazon Merch, save them as published settings, <clears throat> and then have M and then have Merch Titans Automation just utilize those. So I'm going to select all of the options here. And this is, my design is a light design, like white text. So I'm going to go with the darker colors here. And again, we'll keep this pretty simple. Whoop. 
That should do just for this example. Now pricing, you can put that all in here. If you want to adjust it, you can do that however you see fit. I'm just going to leave it as the defaults for now. Let's come over here and, and select some of these colors. And again, we'll leave the default pricing. Got men and women selected. Go down to the long sleeve t-shirt. Pricing's good. We'll select the darker colors. Uh, sweatshirt. And you can see how quickly you can go through this. And especially once you get familiar with it, it's not hard. Um, there we go. Got the hoodie. And then the last one's the zip hoodie. We'll select <clears throat> all of these colors. So leave the pricing. And we're good to go. That should be it. So now we basically selected the products, the marketplaces, the colors, and input the pricing. Now what we can do is come down to the bottom here and you see this little save publish settings icon. Just click that. Click save. And now those are saved. As you can see up here, custom settings. If you ever need to delete those, you can click delete. Go reset them up for another product, uh, batch of product uploads. And just like I just did. And then save them again. So that's how you do it. It's really easy. So now that that is done, Amazon Merch is going to remember those settings on the next login. So let's go over to back to the app. Everything's good here with our settings. So let's go home. Let's go start. You can preview your spreadsheet of your designs you're uploading. And if you wanted to uncheck any of these, you can do that here. So it doesn't upload them. But in this case, we're going to enable all. So start upload. And that'll open up the upload process. I'm going to make this full screen. Uh, so now I need to log into my Amazon Merch account because I haven't uh, logged into this yet. But again, if you have that save login checked, you only have to do this once. And it, should, it should save your login information in the cache in your browser so that you don't have to do this every time. So I'm going to pause the video, input my login, login, then resume. All right, so we're back. I just logged in. You can see that Merch Titans Automation quickly goes to the design page on Amazon Merch, the create page. And you can see it already uploaded our design. Now it's putting in our information. It's going to add that description next. And we got the translate on because we have that option in the settings. And you could give it a second here and it'll publish. But let's scroll up so you can see this. Got all our, our information here. You can see how quick and easy that was. Now this is really key when you have hundreds or thousands of designs that you want to automate the uploading process for. You can set up these publish settings. You can set up your spreadsheet or do this in My Designs. Integrate Merch Times Automation that way. And then just start the uh, publishing process. And everything's fully automated. So you can just eventually just minimize your browser and continue to work on your computer. Or, you know, step away and do what you need to do. But in a minute here, this should submit. And then it'll rotate to the next uh, row in the spreadsheet. And just keep, keep continuing that way. As you can see there, the pop-up comes up. And Merch Titans Automation will click Publish. And now it's going to move to the next row in your spreadsheet. And start uploading that next product. Um, so let's go over in just a moment here. This will this will mark it as published, so that way you can keep track of your published listings. In case there are any issues or whatnot, it's really convenient to be able to go uncheck all um, that are published. Basically, right here, uncheck uncheck finished uploads. That way you can just start on the row that hasn't been uploaded. So you can see here that shows published now, and now it's moving to this step. As you can see, that's publishing. So it's in the process of publishing that. So if we move over here. You can watch that happen. It's so inputting the data. So you can see that using published settings within Merch by Amazon with Merch Titans Automation is by far the most efficient way to automate the uploads. That's yeah, going to translate the product info, publish the product, and then again move on to the next product. Now when the last upload is done, it'll close down, it'll close Merch by Amazon tab and all you'll have is an about blank so you can exit that and you can always check your status from here. Now if you went back to the home tip page, what you can do is go to upload status and find the particular upload that you're on, which I believe is here. And, uh, oops, I believe that was it. Let me go back. Yeah, two out of three. So you can pull this up and this is a bug right here so we'll have that fixed. It should, should say published. But you can always check on the status here and re even start the, restart the instance if you need by unchecking finished uploads, etc. So let's go back. And that is published in the last one. Now again, you can always mine this out of the browser if you have hundreds of these and continue to work or just leave your computer and let, let, this, uh, let Merch Titans Automation do the work for you. But this is done now, so this should close in a minute here. And all those uploads are done. 
And basically that's how you can use Merch Titans Automation with Merch by Amazon using the published settings. So this is basically gonna be video one of two. I'm gonna make another video showing the old school way of uploading to Merch by Amazon with Merch Titans Automation using the default settings. So you can see it, this browser just closed, so everything's good, so you can just exit that. And again, this is just bugged here, it should show published on all three of these, but we'll have that fixed. But that is how you can do this um, and automate your uploads to Merch by Amazon. If you have any questions, let me know uh, by leaving a comment below or reach out to live support. Thank you. Have a great day.